Hello, my friends. It is Words of Wisdom Wednesday already, and this is the first Words of Wisdom Wednesday in our unofficial start to summer. So thank you for hopping on. Thank you for joining us every single week. And the cool part is thank you for participating in the Fun Fearless Female Global Community of Christian Women Facebook page, because that's where we get tons and tons of engagement for each of you to connect with each other. And I love that part, of course. So I'm Kathy Weaver, and I am definitely a fan of Delinda Lane and her endeavors, not only in the Kansas City area, but globally to unite Christian women from everywhere. So let's talk today about, this is so on my mind, buy cheap, buy twice. You've heard that expression before, probably, but buy cheap, buy twice. Buyer's remorse, buyer's regret. You buy something because, oh my gosh, it's the latest, greatest, something, something, something. And then you get it and it's like, ew, this is not what I thought it would be. You thought you were going to save a little bit of money because you didn't want to buy the big something, something, something. And what happens? Are you disappointed? Do you send it back? Do you take it to your local charity bin? Buy cheap, buy twice. Let's think in terms of appliances for the home. This is near and dear to my heart because some people actually consider my water ionizer an appliance. That's fine. They purchase something and they go, this doesn't work. And of course, I'm always there to say, correct. It doesn't work. There's a reason that I purchased the device that I did 16 years ago because I know it does work and it still is working. I'm not disappointed. In fact, what does that mean when you have something that, let's even think about your car, okay? Did you buy cheap, buy twice? You either bought it for the warranty, the reputation, perhaps the streamlined, fabulous, amazing look, or a great big old minivan because it holds lots of kids, You've made a decision because you needed something that that particular item gave you. It provided it for you, okay? Classic look, size, the price was right. They had a great warranty. You make a buying decision on those things. But once again, think about buy cheap, buy twice. What about your vacuum cleaner? If you have uh, cleaning ladies who come to your home, cleaning folks that come to your home, most of the time you can take a look at their vacuum, some of the different appliances they use while they're in your home. They buy the best because they know they buy it one time and it lasts on your house and all the other gazillion of homes they clean. The gazillions of homes they clean is now a testimonial for that appliance being fabulous. They didn't regret buying something that was expensive because they did the math. Think about your subscription services. How many of those do you still have hanging out that you don't even use anymore? Oh, I forgot I had that. Huh, you're still paying for it. Did you buy something by the year because they gave you a break? Just like we've talked about before, You can, if you spend 23 more dollars, you get free shipping. Okay. To get free shipping, that's 10 bucks. You spent 23 more. They know what they're doing. So that extra item that you bought, was it worth it? Buy cheap, buy twice. And then of course, by the time you do the math, how many vacuum cleaners have you had? How many cars have you had? Now, if they're great, you're going to buy the same brand again, probably. How long should a vacuum cleaner last? How long should a dishwasher last? How long should a washer and dryer set last? How long should a refrigerator last? How long should a central air conditioner last? Buy cheap, buy twice. Now, we'll give you a three-year warranty. And then after that, good luck. 
please consider when you're buying the best, there's a reason it's the best. Customer service is a biggie. You have an issue with any of your appliances, your devices, your whatever the purchase is, the company stands behind it because they want your business back, right? It really is a very big deal. They want your business back. When I think about the buy cheap, buy twice, there's lemon laws and all kinds of things and 30 day warranties and 30, 60, 90 days, same as cash, all of those things. I promise I understand that. But I just wanted to remind each of us, I have to pay attention to this myself. Well, this one's on sale. <sighs> there might be a reason for that. Right? This one's on sale. So take a look. This one's not on sale. They don't need to put it on sale. They don't need to buy one, get one free. How many of those get one freeze do you have? And you just bought two some things because you're going, well, I might need this someday. Maybe, I, maybe I do. And so you see what I mean? It's just an interesting thing, the marketing plan. But I wanted to share today, buy cheap, buy twice. It's very near and dear to my heart at this time. For the first time in the 16 years that I've been with my company, uh, my water machine prices are going up on June 1st, 2024, or for the first time in my uh, time with the company. And personally for me, and I'm not being funny, don't tell them I said this, but I don't think they charge enough for what these devices do. And I mean that. And so the fact that we're having a price increase and comparatively, it's an incredibly minor price increase, but I love to help my clients save money. Buy cheap, buy twice. Uh, yeah, if you get one of these devices, they last a lifetime. All you have to do is take care of them. The company services them if you have an issue and they literally can last a lifetime. Buy cheap, buy twice. I don't want to buy twice. I want to buy once. And I did 16 years ago. My friends, please think about that. Certainly with your product or service that you're selling, perhaps the selling point would be we may not be the cheapest, but we are the best, and we can prove that. Our integrity speaks for itself. Our reputation speaks for itself. Our product or service speaks for itself. Be really confident when you know that you have purchased our purchasing, have bought our selling, whatever that piece is of your pie. Make sure that you let people know, I bought the best. I want to own the best. And in my case, I get to sell the best. So please consider buy cheap, buy twice. If that turns into a stick in your head as your own little mantra, then think about that because we can all avoid, avoid, oh my gosh, buyer's remorse. My friends, this is Words of Wisdom Wednesday. We are all in this together. Every time you send me a topic that you want me to share on Words of Wisdom Wednesday, I'm super excited and super happy to do that. For me, networking is ginormous. I've made so many super great friends across the globe now, and I love being part of Words of Wisdom Wednesday and certainly the fun, fearless female global community of Christian women with Delinda Lane. Thank you again for joining me every week. Put your comments in. I'd love to know if you bought us something and now you had to buy it again, and then you bought us something and you had to buy another one. But if you buy the best, it shows. Buy cheap, buy twice.